This is the end of our video. <laughs> On YouTube. Okay. Mm, as always, we have. We hope you have enjoyed a lot our video and please don't forget that the chromatic cycle is so important when we are painting miniatures, okay? And use in every place. For example, if you are eating with your family, use your chromatic cycle <laughs> and don't forget, please, and more important, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, okay? And follow in our social network. Okay, thank you, bros. Hi again. We have here the color wheel or the chromatic cycle that represents the primary colors. We can find here uh, would be the yellow, for example, the cyan blue, and magenta, and the mixture of these colors. I mean, for example, if we get if we mix sorry magenta with cyan blue at three three percent, we get purple. And if for example, if we mix the yellow with magenta at 50%, we get orange, and so on. Therefore, would would have the primary colors around here in this cycle, uh, but unfortunately they are not represented totally. And then we will say about uh, secondary colors that we get them from 50% of primary colors and the tertiary colors that we get from 75% of primary colors and 25% of secondary colors. Uh, I continue. For example, uh, I will show you different colors, different primary colors. For example, the first one is Mayenta uh, of uh, Vallejo model colors. As I said, we have poor magenta. This this color, sorry, is very useful color that I use on many occasions as, as you can, could watch in in my video tutorials. And then I will explain as I mix or I get as blue cyan blue. I get uh, cyan blue from these two colors, 50% uh, of Caribbean blue and the other 50% from uh, Turquoise blue, because uh, I can I couldn't find it in the market, although maybe you can find. It is true that Vallejo blue green model color is more or less it looks like uh, cyan blue. But unfortunately, I can't find it in my mix of everything that I have here. And for example, uh, now the yellow, lemon yellow. Here is the primary color of, of yellow. Uh, primary colors have a lot of saturations, saturation, sorry, more than the others. Um, for example, apart from that, uh, the, the chromatic cycle is divided into two, two parts. The warm colors, left side, and the cold colors, right side. Why is so useful to, this, uh, to do this division? Because warm colors are really useful to brighten, and, col and cold colors are really useful to shade. And um, for example, to give uh, depth to the the miniature and it is also useful, useful to know that depending on the result that we can find with our miniature for example if we want a warmer atmosphere we we will use predominantly warm colors but if we want a cold atmosphere we will use cold colors in mostly and then it's also useful because as i say before for lighting, it's very useful to, to use warm colors and to shade cold colors. Although we can, although we can jump to a greater scales or whatever, you know. Well, 
there are more properties of the color wheel for example. Also, it is really useful to know that the complementary colors, I mean, those which are faces, faced in the color wheel as maybe this blues purple and yellow. What is useful to know the complementary colors? Because they are uh, those that contrast most with each other. I mean, if we paint on the same miniature a purple surface and another of yellow, it's going to contrast a lot. However, if we use harmonic colors, I mean, if we paint a cloth of a miniature in yellow and one and the other one in orange, it will not, it will be softer, you know, and the miniature uh, will be more harmonious. However, if you if we use col colors, but complementary colors, the miniature will f ha will be more contrasted. Anyway, I will explain that is in detail in the next tutorial. And are there more color properties? Yes, but that in this color we are not possible to see. It is, wor it is worth to say something else. As you can see here, we don't find black or white or gray. This is due to that strictly speaking the white and the black and uh, there are no colors or the other sense the white is the total sense of of colors but with the maximum brightness and for example the black is the total sense of color but with the least brightness and finally the gray is the total sense of colors but with an intermediate brightness. That's why, as you will see in the next video tutorial, where I explain what colors are useful to paint. So, we will avoid the use of, of gray, white, and black. And well, this is basically all I wanted to explain about the chromatic circle. Is everything that I've said. Se sea en un fuego en video <risa> On YouTube Ok mm, As always we have We hope you have enjoyed a lot Our video and Please don't forget that The chromatic cycle is so important When we are painting miniatures Ok And use In every place for example, if you are eating with your family, use your chromatic cycle <laughs> and don't forget, please, and more important, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, okay? And follow in our social network, okay? Thank you, bros. <laughs>